Hello everybody and welcome to another video from the Red Python channel. Today I will show you how to compromise a WordPress website using Burp Suite Community Edition. In your Kali machine, fire Burp Suite, go to the proxy tab, make sure the interception is off to start with. Now open the browser to any WordPress website that you want to compromise. So this is a website here that I have created uh, for a client. Uh, so I will not actually compromise it, but it's only for the demo purposes. Make sure whenever you're testing that, you're testing that on websites that you own. Do not do that on websites that you don't own. So uh, now I am on the landing page or the uh, login page. Turn the interception on and go to the website again. Just put any username and password here and press log in. Now in the, in the uh, header, uh, in the request header, uh, this will be populated. Now right click on the empty spot here and send to intruder. Now go to the intruder tab, then go to the positions tab. As you can see here, Burp Suite has highlighted some parameters or payloads in green. So I don't want to work on all these payloads. Go to the right and clear them all. Now, I only want to have two payloads, the username and the password. Double click on the username and press on the add button. It will add the payload between two like uh, kind of a dollar sign. Do the same for the password payload and press on add. Now, the next thing to do is to go to the payloads tab. You will see here, uh, no, before that, we need to change the sniper to cluster bomb type of attack. Now, we go to the payloads and you will see that two payloads have been populated. Payload one is the username and payload two is the password. So I will use a simple list for payload one, which is just a simple list of usernames that I can enter manually. I will use admin and I press on add and I will use, for example, root, root and I will press on add. Now go to the payload two and from the drop down list here, select the runtime file. So because I want to try a myriad of possibilities of passwords to match admin and root usernames, I need to select a file. So go here and select the ROCQ file and press open. Now ROCQ, for your information, is a file that has around 14 million passwords. It is already uh, populated in Kali or it comes shipped with Kali. Uh, and it ships with a default gun zip or zip file. So to unzip that file, use this command gzip uh, hyphen d and then use this path to unzip the rock you file. Now I have it here in text. I'm good to go. You have a few options here in the options tab. I'll not go into that. Uh, the attack will be just simple. So just start the attack button here press on it and it will start the attack. A couple of things you need to know here in this uh, results uh, form uh, is the error and the status. So I'll just wait for a while for it to start the attack. So as you can see here, the attack has started and the combination of payload one and payload two is kicking. Uh, the good thing to note here is the status. So uh, 200 means that there, that there is a return, but the attack was not successful. If the attack is successful, you will have another code or HTTP response code. Uh, most, most po possibly or probably it's 300, which means redirect. So you bring redirected from the login screen to another homepage or something. Uh, so it, the, the attack will take some time, but at the end of the day, if your password is in the uh, ROCQ or another password file and you have put the right usernames to begin with, this attack will be successful.